Good evening guys, just done over 10k on a Sunday evening. Fitness update for you, by the way. Uh, it's been a while, so what time are we on now? 20 past nine, just cooling down, walking around the block. I've clocked up nearly 19 miles today. It is 30th of September. The weather's been quite kind. Uh, switch this off. So I'm just walking around the block, cooling down, which you should always do after a strenuous run. Uh, this morning, went on a two mile walk with the dog, just so he could go to the, the toilet. That's basically a toilet break uh, for me, for the dog. It's not really a walk. Uh, then, what else did I do? Oh, I had a bath, soaked, soaked my muscles. Um, then I uh, sat in the sunshine for a few minutes. And then I came back to my house and did my 50 uh, press-ups, then 50 leg raises, two or three minute break, 50 press-ups, 50 leg raises, three or four minute break, 50 press-ups, 50 leg raises, um, 10 to 15 pull-ups long, then another 10 to 15 pull-ups short without dropping off the bar, little break, then 15 to 20 chin-ups uh, long, then 15 to 25 chin-ups short without dropping off the bar, then straight out eight and a half mile hike, which is a proper walk, came back and then sometimes if I've got the energy I do another 50 to 150 press ups and leg raises but I did not do that today um, I had a nap instead for about an hour and a half maybe and then out and doing, doing some running um, which I've just done now I'm just calling down from and it's uh, it's not even half past eight at night yet. So what I will do now is um, go and get changed, cool down a bit more, rehydrate, and then I will do the same routine of push-ups and leg raises, fifty, break, fifty two or three minute break, then another set, three sets. So that'll take the total up to 300 push-ups or press-ups, and then 300 leg raises. Then I'll take the dog out for maybe a mile or a mile and a half, two miles tops, toilet break. And that'll take me to maybe 11 or midnight. Then I will do 10 to 15 pull-ups and then um, 15 chin-ups long to 25 short and then I'll go to sleep and I can maintain this nearly every day of the week usually every day of the week sometimes I might take a day and a half to two days off in a row but I'll still do some walking and um, a little bit of running so yeah that's the level of fitness that I'm at, at the moment and once you get to the level of fitness that you you're happy with um, you physically want to maintain it um, and you can feel your metabolism working for you and it's it's really good uh, yeah so fitness update is um, I was getting too skinny as well so I've started eating more uh, carbohydrates I'm still off the meat and more 
things to kind of uh, treat myself with because I was being, I was, I was getting silly with my um, with my skinniness. I was starting to lose weight off my face and stuff. And it's okay if you want your abs to show, but it's unrealistic for health, I think. Uh, over a prolonged period. I already got my six pack to show and I have photographs and video of that. And uh, now what I've done, what I found was because I was so skinny, um, I had excess baggy skin because I lost a lot of weight quite quickly, like three stone, more than three stone in in around about four months. So what I've, what I've done now is I've built my muscles on my in my abdominals out so that when I come to go down to 7% or even 5% again, uh, that space of baggy skin will be filled by muscle. I uh, just need an opportunity or a reason to, um, to do that again, which uh, I don't know. It's coming up uh, winter time now. Weather's been very kind to us. But yeah, I don't know, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but I'm feeling pretty healthy, I'm looking okay. Um, yeah, I joined a running club as well, an athletics club. So I'm running with them two nights a week, as well as on my own. So, yeah, I run, I ran my um, sub seven minute mile for the first time about a week ago, 10 days ago. I can maintain that up to seven and a half minutes over distance now when I eat properly and conservatively. Uh, yeah, the Great North Run didn't happen unfortunately. Everybody should have had their refunds by now if you made a donation, which I was absolutely mortified about. I was supposed to do it uh, the first, the second Sunday in September. Uh, the Friday before that Sunday, I went out and ran a uh, half marathon anyway and I got a really good time ironically I, I ran the fastest half marathon that I've ever ran in distance shaving more than 16 minutes off my previous time and I went the wrong way and wasted a load of time and stopped a couple of times so it would have been even quicker if I'd done it competitively or professionally but these things happen so I'm going to run a full marathon instead probably for charity probably for mind uh, mental health charity um, I just don't know which one yet it might be in the northeast of England it might be in Yorkshire I doubt it will be the London Marathon but I'll keep you updated um, I don't mind who I do it with and who I do it for I just need something to aim for like 5k 10k half marathon full marathon then the next one after that is an ultra, which is 32 miles. That's getting silly. That's when you start doing damage to your muscle that you need to recover from for days afterwards. But anyway, yeah, I'm still pretty fit. I'm still maintaining it. Uh, I'm off everything. The only kind of um, issues I'm having at the moment is uh, dietary issues and maintaining a, a healthy diet. Oh, I did get into drinking um, coffee couple of weeks ago and it got a bit silly in the end I had to get the coffee out of my house because I was relying on uh, big scoops of coffee and sugar in order to help me because I, I hit a, a reliance point but that's over and that only was a few days and that's sorted out now uh, yeah it's all good and as I said to you before um, physically and mentally. Fitness is the answer. It really does help. As well as the nice, nice weather and feeling good about yourself and achieving faster times in such a short time and younger lads that are like 10, 15 years younger than you looking at you when the sun's shining and you're wearing a vest or if you're running and they're looking at you and they're thinking, God, I wish I looked like that. And you you know that you're like 10 years older than them, which is, is great for your confidence. So, yeah, peace and respect to everybody, and uh, I'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye.